Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let's see the title of our project. Beyond Text QA, Multimedia Answer Generation by Harvesting Web Information. Now let's see the abstract of our project. In general, community question and answering is a system which is, which is used to retrieve the information for the query raised by the client. And in the existing automated QA system, the information that is generated is in purely in textual form which is inefficient for the users. Suppose, consider if the users write the question, who is Bill Gates? This query needs multimedia data, such as the visual representation of, of that personality. So, in existing automated system fail to provide the multimedia data for the query given by the client. The information provided by the system is uh, inaccurate for the users because it uh, in the existing automatic queue system it will not analyze the real intention of the query given by the client. Just analyze the key pattern that is present in the user's query and then retrieve the information regarding the key pattern query given by the client. So we're gonna propose a efficient automated QA system which will analyze the query given by the client and enhance the information by adding the appropriate uh, multimedia data for the query is with the client. There are three components involved in our project. It's a first answer medium selection. In this answer medium selection we're gonna analyze the query that is which query should need the multimedia data and which is not. Suppose consider if the users raise the question when was India got in the present historical moment. So notes that time period. So for, for this kind of questions, it's enough to provide a textual answers without multimedia data. Suppose consider if the user raise the question like what is a pen? This query need the visual representation of the object pen along with the description of the pen, right? So in this answer medium selection, we are going to analyze the question to provide the multimedia data for the query given by the client. Next is query generation for the multimedia search. In this phase, we are going to analyze the key pattern present in the, uh, as I said, just consider what is in pen. In this query, the key pattern is pen. This is an object. We are going to search the multimedia data for the key pattern. Uh, the next phase is multimedia data selection and presentation. After acquiring the key pattern in the query, we are going to search our database by the key pattern which suits that query or the key pattern. See, the process that are involved in our project is first we are going to analyze our question to select which query should need some multimedia data and which is not. Then we are going to analyze the key pattern present in the query. Then third one is we are going to search our database for the key pattern present in the query. And then retrieve the information regarding the key pattern. We are just going to enhance the te uh, textual information along with this multimedia data to, to provide a efficient information for the users. Okay. Now let's see the flow diagram of our project. There are four processes involved in our project. First one is offline search. In this offline search, users are going to provide a query and we are going to search the information for the query in our database. Mm, let's see. Suppose here, if the user writes the query, then as I said, we are going to analyze the query. That is, which query should need the multimedia data and which is not. If the query needs some multimedia data, we are going to analyze the key pattern present in the query and we are going to select the multimedia data in that database from regarding the key pattern present in the query. As I said, consider the query what is pen. In this query, as I said, which is the pen is the key pattern. So, we are going to find the multimedia data regarding the um, pattern name called pen. Then we are going to retrieve the information regarding the key pattern. We are going to search our database for the key pattern present in the query along with the description of the query. And we are going to combine every description of the query as well as the multimedia data and then we just represent the uh, information to the users. This is an offline search. Then the next one is source values. In the source values we are using the Wikipedia data set which contains the more information means as well as the html data set. in this way we are going to analyze the key pattern in the query after getting the key pattern we are going to search our wikipedia data set for the key pattern along with the multimedia data after getting the information regarding the key pattern we are going to, we are going to retrieve the information from the wikipedia just present the information to the users the next one is 
file warehouse in this file warehouse it consists of yahoo data sets as like previous here here also if the users provide the query we're gonna analyze the key pattern present in the query and that for the key pattern we are going to search our yahoo answers data sets and retrieve the information this provided provide to the users next one is online search uh, online search is common online search like so if suppose if the user writes the query we're gonna search the query in online through our web browser component in our windows form now let's see our project hi this is our home screen of our project let's, let's give a query let's search our query first one as i said first one is offline search let's give it see since it's a it's a question it's so is absolute clone in this query you just need a visual representation not a brief description so see this query gives the description about the Abdul Kalam as well as the image of that personality. Because since this question is who, it it, it should need some visual representation regarding the object in the query. But since it's a, a video information will be hidden. Let's change our query. We are going to search the location of the Himalaya. Let's search. See since it, it just need a brief description we are just going to provide the information regarding the, regarding the query as well as the image visual representation as well as the brief description regard for this kind of query the multimedia data will be enabled let's click and see this is the uh, video of the query let's change our query now let's give search the query denotes the time period it's enough to provide the textual information, not the multimedia data. It just exclude the multimedia data regarding the query. Okay, let's see the source value. Here we are using the query to get the information regarding the pin. As I said previously, in this in the source values, the parts just retrieves the information regarding the key pattern piano and just retrieve it in this. Now let's see about the file values. Let's provide a in this query, the key pattern is network. Then we have to search the file file values. See, in this file values will be consisting of huge number of Yahoo Answers data set, which will be available in the D directory. As I said previously, this online search will be go through the Google search. Right? If we provide a query, it will be searching. A, it will it will perform the google search and it will be displaying in the web, web browser component in a windows form now let's say the admin process and uh, this will be the admin question we have to click submit yes. we have to give a caption for that image and just click upload provide the caption like while it will be taking some time because since uh, there will be a conversion yeah it just got uploaded successfully here there will be a graph which denotes the query which is uh, frequently searched by the clients here we go to select generate graph since see the bigger area denotes this this what is India? This query is most frequently searched by the user since it's do not okay. Then just we can able to sign. Now this is all about our automated QA system named Beyond Text QA multimedia answer generation. Thank you.